Imagine if you could disappear right where you stand, blending so perfectly into the background that even the sharpest eyes couldn't find you. Sounds like something straight out of a superhero movie, right? But for moths, this power isn't fantasy. It's a critical survival skill, one that they've developed over millions of years. Welcome back to Bugs, Buzz and Beyond, the place where we explore the incredible world of insects and all their secrets. Today, we're uncovering the amazing world of moth camouflage, looking at the clever tricks these winged masters use to stay hidden from their predators. So, stick around if you want to see how these tiny creatures avoid becoming lunch by simply vanishing. In the wild, blending into your surroundings can mean the difference between life and death. Camouflage is a survival strategy used by countless animals, from chameleons to owls. But moths have taken it to an entirely new level. While butterflies may stand out with their bright colors, moths have mastered the art of blending in. Unlike butterflies, which fly mostly in the day, moths are active mostly at night. But that doesn't mean they're off the hook during daylight hours. They still need to avoid hungry birds, reptiles, and small mammals looking for a quick meal. So, how do moths stay hidden in broad daylight? They've evolved different kinds of camouflage techniques that range from simple color matching to complex pattern disruptions, each one uniquely adapted to help them stay invisible in their surroundings. Let's dive into some of the fascinating tricks that these delicate creatures use to outwit their predators and remain unseen. One of the most common types of camouflage you'll find in moths is called background matching. Essentially, it's when the colors and textures of a moth's wings mirror the surfaces around them, like tree bark, leaves, or even stone. For example, a moth that spends most of its time near tree bark may have wings that are mottled with grays, browns, or greens, perfectly mimicking the rough textures and colors of the bark. One of the best known examples of this is the peppered moth. In the forests of the UK, the peppered moth's speckled gray wings match the texture of tree bark so well that it's practically invisible even to trained researchers. And here's where it gets even cooler. These moths have adapted to environmental changes in real time. During the Industrial Revolution, soot from factories darkened the trees, and darker colored moths became more common, a powerful example of evolution happening before people's eyes. It's almost as if these moths have their own built-in camouflage switch that responds to the world around them. Background matching may be the classic form of camouflage, but there's another technique that many moths use called disruptive coloration. This type of camouflage works by breaking up the outline of the moth's body with bold patterns, making it harder for predators to recognize it as a single creature. Think of it like wearing a loud pattern that confuses the eye. Predators are left wondering, what am I even looking at? Moths with disruptive coloration often have spots, stripes, or patches in contrasting colors scattered across their wings. These markings create an optical illusion that disrupts the moth's overall shape, making it harder for a predator to focus on it as a whole. Instead of seeing a tasty moth, the predator sees a confusing array of shapes and colors that don't register as food. This technique is especially helpful for moths that can't perfectly match their backgrounds. 
but still need a way to confuse their enemies. Now, some moths don't just hide. They go a step further and try to trick their predators into thinking they're something entirely different. This technique, known as mimicry, is used by moths that look like leaves, twigs, or even other animals. In some cases, it's as simple as resembling a dead leaf, which can be effective enough to fool predators. But some moths take it up a notch, displaying patterns that look like the eyes of much larger animals. Take the owl moth, for example. This fascinating moth has large circular spots on its wings that resemble the eyes of an owl. If a predator comes too close, the moth can suddenly open its wings to reveal these eye spots, making the predator believe it's facing an owl or some other large, dangerous animal. It's a fantastic bluff, but it works. Imagine you're a bird and you think you're going in for a quick snack, only to come face to face with what looks like a much larger set of eyes staring back at you. So far, we've seen how moths use color, patterns, and even mimicry to stay hidden. But there's one more subtle trick up their sleeves, positioning. Sometimes, simply sitting in the right way is all it takes to blend into the background perfectly. Many moths lay their wings completely flat against a surface, almost becoming one with the texture thereon. Others will tuck their wings in tightly and stay incredibly still, reducing any chance of catching a predator's attention. When a moth stays absolutely still, it becomes even harder for a predator to spot it. This combination of color, pattern, and positioning makes moths the true masters of disguise. Even if they're not perfectly camouflaged, the stillness helps create a complete illusion of invisibility. As impressive as these adaptations are, moths today face new challenges that are putting their camouflage to the test. Things like light pollution, habitat loss, and environmental changes due to human activities can make it harder for moths to hide. Street lights and house lights attract moths, disrupting their natural hiding instincts and making them easy prey. And in areas with heavy pollution, the colors of tree barks and other surfaces change, leaving moths without effective camouflage in their surroundings. But despite these challenges, moths continue to adapt and survive, showing just how resilient they are. These creatures, with their remarkable camouflage and adaptability, remind us of the delicate balance of nature and the incredible lengths some creatures will go to in order to stay hidden. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.